you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We go to the next today is Seek on Fleet. But before I get to run my mouth, let's go ahead and do what? Shake up this manifestation jar. Then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I pulled out two or three. And the first one says, what, baby? Congratulations. Yes, indeed. The next one is what? Unexpected blessings. And we'll take that as well. What's the next one? The next one. The last one is what? Get a raise. Congratulations. Listen, seek on sleep. Let me tell y'all about a young man. Did I say about? That's a Georgia coming out. About a young man. His name was Zacchaeus. He was in the Bible. That's Luke 19, 1 through some, some, some. But anyway, his name was Zacchaeus. Very rich, very wealthy. He had heard about what Jesus was doing in town, right? As far as healing the sick, raising the dead, just doing a whole lot of stuff inspirational, right? And so he just got super duper excited. And he was just thinking, if I could just see Jesus, that's, that's fine for me. I don't need to take no picture with him. We don't need to do no selfie together. We don't need to do none of that. I just want to see him. That's all. That's all. That's all. I just want to see him walk with walking. That's all I want to do. And so he would go from town to town trying to find Jesus, right? And finally, he got to a place where Jesus was. Now, listen, Zacchaeus was not the only one there. He was there with other people. They called them the press, right? These are the people that were just there, just there for the show. Now, Zacchaeus had been seeking out Jesus for a while, right? He was seeking out Jesus for a while, really seeking. He didn't want nothing from Jesus. He didn't want Jesus to perform no miracles. He didn't want nothing from Jesus. He was just seeking Jesus. Jesus, right? Seeking out where he was. And so there Zacchaeus was. He was a short man in stature, which means he was about way by maybe two, three feet tall. I, I believe I, I'm just guessing, okay? But anyway, the press was there and they were tall. And so Zacchaeus couldn't see, he couldn't see. And he knew Jesus was walking through the crowd. He was like, man, I can't see, I can't see. And the press wasn't moving, okay? Because they were too busy trying to get Jesus to perform miracles. They wanted to show, they wanted to sell and whatnot. So Zacchaeus said, you know what? Since I can't see him right here and they won't move, let me run ahead and get in that sycamore tree so he climbed up a sycamore tree and just sat there in the tree and he was watching Jesus walk through the crowd and so Jesus finally gets to that sycamore tree where Zacchaeus was and Jesus Jesus stops and he looks up and says Zacchaeus now I don't know nothing about in the Bible where it said was Zacchaeus say hey what's up Jesus my name is Zacchaeus he didn't introduce himself as far as I know okay I could be wrong but if I'm not that's what I'm getting okay so anyway Jesus looked up and said Zacchaeus Come down and make haste, or make haste and come down one of those. He said, for today, I shall abide at your home. Now, everybody else was there, eye to eye, eyeball to eyeball. They was touching them, and Jesus hadn't said none to none of them. Why? Because they were there for a show. They weren't really seeking Jesus. They weren't seeking him out, but Zacchaeus was. And because that, because of that, Zacchaeus was able to be seen by Jesus. And Jesus said, hey, I'm going to your house. We're going to go have a fellowship, okay? And because of that, Jesus was able to bless his whole household with keeping them being righteous and whatnot. And this is what we have to do when it's pertaining to God. You got to keep your seek on fleet. A lot of times we just want to show from God. God, I need you to perform a miracle here. I need you to perform a miracle over there. You ain't seeking God. You haven't been seeking God. You really haven't been seeking God. And because of that, that's why you're feeling like you're being left out. Like you're being looked over. Like you're not seen. All those press people that was in the crowd to see Jesus, Jesus didn't bit more say nothing to those people. He was just trying to get to where he was going. They was a Jesus, turn this one to one. Jesus, do this, do that. And he was just going. They was like, I wonder why he overlooked me. By asking that he ignored me. But Zacchaeus, the one that had been saying, I'm going to go to this town and see if I can find him. I'm going to go to this town and see if I can find him. He was seeking, seeking, and seeking, and seeking. That's who Jesus saw. And that's how God is with you. When you got your seek on flee, God will find you out. You ain't even got to tell God what you need. And you will have it. God, uh, God will come to you. He'll come to you. Because he knows you're seeking. When your seek is not on flee, then you're going to be in despair over there. That's why when you do finally get away, a miracle or get the new house, you still feel a certain kind of way of emptiness. That's because you're seeking on fleet. Even when you get the new house, and you still feel a little empty, your seek isn't on fleet. You get a little money in your pocket. When you still realize that you still got some problems, it's because your seek is not on fleet. You got to keep your seek on fleet. And you'll know that God has not overlooked you and that void that you was feeling. The other day I told you what? Fill my cup. When your seek is on fleet, God will fill your cup. You will never thirst. And the things that used to annoy you won't annoy you anymore. You'll be in a very, very peaceful paradise, heavenly place. Heaven on earth per se. 
but your seat has got to be on flee. You can't be that person. You know how it is when you call somebody up and you hadn't heard from them in a while and you're like, well, let me call them because I, I know I hadn't talked to them in a minute. And you call, think you're doing a good thing. You go, hey, how's it going? They go, oh, hey. Then you, I just check to see how you're doing. They go, oh, yeah, I was wondering what was going on with you because I hadn't heard from you in a minute. And you're thinking the phone works both ways. God is thinking the same thing. It works both, both ways. He's providing provision for you. Can't you seek? You shouldn't just seek when you want something. Just seek so you can get more spiritual discovery. There is more to God than just a new home. There is more to God than just a new house. There is more to God than just some bukus of money. There is more to God than you getting a husband. There is more to God than you getting a wife. There is more to God than you getting a promotion. There is more to God at your core. Sometimes we just correlate God with the things that he can give us. And that's not a seek on fleek life. You got to start seeking God. Just have some alone time. That's all that means. Have some alone time with God. If you can spend 30 minutes to watch a, a TV show or spend three hours to watch a movie, then I know you can spend some time with God. If you can't take out your time to spend 30 minutes to a few hours with God every day, just say, hey, how you doing? We just chit-chatting what's going on. You know, I, I, I praise you. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Then what, what type of relationship is that? You ain't really trying to get to know God. You really not. You're not trying to get to know who God is at your core. Spiritual discovery. In order to get spiritual discovery, it has to have a seek life. Seek on fleek. It says seeking you shall find. What are you trying to find out about God? The only time you're seeking, you're seeking for a car. You're seeking for a house. You're seeking for that new job. You're seeking for a wife. Seeking for a husband. How about seeking for just more of God? Finding out, these, finding out things that you never knew. Having your eyes open even more. Don't you want to know how far God expands? And he never stops expanding. You can never stop learning when it comes to God. I'm almost at eight minutes, but listen, keep your seat on fleet. Because some of y'all was over there like I felt before when I was in line of connect. I was thinking God just overlooking me. Yes, he is. I still feel empty. I still feel this. I still feel that. And really what was going on? is that my seek was not on fleek. My eyebrows was on fleek. fleek. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My eyeshadow color was on fleek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My money's been on fleek. Yeah. My house on fleek. My car's on fleek. My husband on fleek. Children on fleek. Everything about me was on fleek. The only thing that wasn't on fleek was my seek. And when I got my seek on fleek, oh, come on now. Come on now. I'm good. I'm good to go now. But only if I keep my seek. Only if I keep my seat. Only if I keep my seat. So listen, keep your seat open and you'll see how far God want to take you. And trust me, the more you see, the more you advance. The more you advance. The more you know about God, the more you, you can't help but to grow more and go to more levels. I'm still talking. I got to go and I got to take my daughter to a birthday party. But let me go, y'all. I hope y'all got the same, but if you didn't, if you didn't, please rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the master smile. Why? Because your smile will always be genuine. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.